we did see some very faint northern lights last night, but the problem was the moon was rising, full moon, right over that hill, and then the glare from the moon reflecting off the snow made it very difficult to see. Win some, you lose some. One of my viewers referred to me as an old crone in the video, and let me tell you that person is so right, because that's what I look like right now. We're sitting at the Holiday Inn Express in Fairbanks, getting ready to go out at 11 o'clock at night till four o'clock in the morning, hoping to see the Northern Lights. And I want to show you what's involved in dressing for an endeavor like that. I've got on long underwear or thermals, tops and bottoms, more fleece on top. Over that is going to go Gore-Tex pants. Got the heavy duty boots, North Face jacket, hat, everything else. And here's the rest of the equipment that has to go with me. If you're really interested, you need a wide angle lens, a tripod, and here's the rest of the paraphernalia. Two pairs of gloves, hats. And this is why you have to go out so late in Alaska. You can see where the aurora is showing right now, thanks to the satellite view. And it's 9 o'clock p.m. in Fairbanks right now. The aurora doesn't really get going until around midnight to four in the morning. So we're heading out. Your drivers take you out where hopefully there's no ambient light so we can see them. And even then there's no guarantee that you can actually see them. It's, it's pure luck. It's the luck of the draws, what it is. This makes five nights in a row that we've had hardly any sleep and that I've basically slept in these lovely clothes <laughs> because you have to be prepared to run out and go see them if they do make an appearance because they can appear for 15 seconds or it could be a half an hour or it could be even hours. Now you know what's involved. It's not like they show you in the pictures where, oh, you just walk out and there they are because they are not. Here's to happy aurora hunting in Alaska.